I'll be going over how to install Linux using Crouton on a Chromebook. So first of all, uh, to, in order to even do this, you have to enter developer mode. So over here, it gives different, this link gives access to different like devices and it had, you could probably look up the device you have and how to set up developer mode. But for the usual case, uh, usually for most devices, uh, you have the escape. You see the, over in this image, you see the escape, uh, refresh and power key. Uh, some devices like mine did not have a power key. So that's why you have to go to the docs for how to set up developer mode on those. So in most cases, it looks like this, just you th need three buttons. And then afterwards you go to this screen where you have to do control D in order to enter developer mode. Beware, uh, if you go to developer mode, it deletes all your data. So make sure to back up your Chromebook beforehand. So for personally, you could, you could download any version of Crouton as long as you put the location and the user's local and you could install a like version of uh, Crouton with, from the installation. You can see over here, there's the different versions. So there's Kali, Ubuntu, and Debian. So depending on the type of Linux user you actually are, you, Ubuntu is the most beginner, uh, Ubuntu is pretty beginner friendly. You could use that if you want. However, in my opinion, uh, I recommend just, if you're less experienced, just following the example over here, you could just, so first uh, over, let me give you an example of me running Crouton so you understand. You see over here in the cross terminal, this is where you'll be installing Linux, uh, or Crouton, setting up Crouton. So in order to download Crouton, uh, in order to download Crouton, first of all, you have to click on this link. This will essentially download this entire repository on your device. And then you have to use, you have to then download from the directory over here. Let me show you an example sudo install and you give the direct uh, directory for the downloads uh, download for over here and the user local bin, you put in the user local bin and then you did the downloads crouton like you already set up. So make sure you have, so all you had to do over here is I do shell and then I copy and then I, and you could control shift Uh, that was a mistake. You can control shift V it. Shell. Control shift V it. And then you could paste it. And then after you paste that command, you could paste this command uh, to download XFCE, which will be one of the installers over here. You can see over here, it's it's over in this list over here. If you could, if, if you just search, it's one of the installation versions. Uh, and then over here, it says sudo enter or sudo start, uh, start X, XP four. I tried another personally, I tried installing a Ubuntu system originally, but it wasn't a supported, it was no longer supported. So, uh, it caused up like a blank screen. It did not work. So in my opinion, I just, if like for the least amount of hassle, just follow the easy way. And then you can just have a light system pretty easily. Uh, let me go back to the control alt T terminal. All you have to do is control alt T. So before you go to developer mode, uh, you usually don't go to crosh. You want to a, like another terminal inside of Chrome. So that's why you have to get developer mode in order to actually install a crouton. You could possibly use the Linux development environment from the, so you could use the base Linux environment to like download software. Like you have to make a separate environment. That's what's supported on the base. This is not a good solution because it kills all your storage for your Chromebook because Chromebooks are not known to have a lot of storage. So unless you have like a, modified Chromebook that has a lot of storage on it. I don't recommend you to use the default Linux settings. You could probably install VS code in like different softwares, but you can't really use terminal commands or try 
more advanced things. So Crouton, uh, there's two things I noticed while I was using it that were kind of missing. Sound is missing. Uh, you have to set up yourself on the terminal. You could do that. It's annoying because uh, if, if you try putting it into the bash RC file, uh, it doesn't work. You actually have to run it in the terminal every single time if you want music to run, uh, like sound to work inside your uh, Crouton environment. So that's for the XF, XF4CE version. So I just, it's too much of a hassle. So I just decided to just do normal uh, Crouton. So all you have to do is to run Crouton after you follow the steps of going into the shell. After you go in here, you do shell. And in the shell, you download it. So you just copy paste this, and then you do this version, copy paste that. And now you could just do uh, sudo start xfce4. Let me just show you an example of me doing it. You can see I go into As you, uh, I'm not. Uh, as you see, I went to the Crouton environment and I'm coming back. I could Control C it, or I could to end it, or I can log out. Uh, for me, I'm just Control Cing it because it doesn't really affect it too much. I'm waiting for it to unmount, so you can see it's used as like a server. Uh, so. That's how you use Crouton. Uh, it's, that's all you really need. If you really had any problems like using Crouton, you could probably put it into issues. Go to at the like, go search up a discussion for your exact terminal. Like if you had a terminal error, I just copy paste Control Shift C from the uh, terminal, copy it, and just Control F it and see if there's it's on here. Uh, yeah, it's not that hard to actually install Crouton on. Chromebook, in my opinion, if you just if you really just want XFC4, if you want to do another version, you might get a lot of hassle because some versions are not supported and others aren't. Let me show you the uh, what does it say? Yeah, Crouton's maintenance only, so yeah, that's a that's a disclaimer, like they're not gonna really improve much they're not there's no new features coming out in the future they're just gonna stay the same and because it's maintenance only like some things some of the things on the installer list don't work uh and that's around it for crouton inst uh, uh, installation uh make sure you are aware that system d system ctl don't work on a crouton environment because it's a crout system. So you won't be able to install easily like applications like Postman or other applications. And it becomes annoying, but that's around the only con of it. Uh, I hope you could do a good experience on development. Uh, all you have to do for uh, finding a link for crouton, all you have to do is search up crouton Chromebook and you you'll find it and it's not that hard uh, yeah just uh, yeah there's other ways to do Chromebook and development but I feel like Crouton is the most beginner not beginner friendly but the best option we have because this one is not a good option in my opinion unless you have a strong compute Chromebook which sounds weird I don't recommend it